obviously seeing Justin sort of find his way, is that giving the team a new sense of a uh, spark or energy that may have been missing before that? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, when you see young guys play well, um, contribute the way they have the last few games, uh, it does something for our morale, it does something for our team, um, who's been desperate for for something to change, you know, a little spark here and there, and, um, and they're providing that right now. And hopefully they continue to just, you know, grow and, and learn, um, you know, our offense, learn, you know, how to play with, uh, amongst each other and, um, you know, help us win, win more games. You guys didn't get to win Friday against Sacramento, but played better. And then Saturday, you get to break through win. How much do you need to carry that momentum into tonight against the Tuxedo? Well, this is a big game. This is a big game for us because, like you said, we've had a couple games in a row now where we've played, you know, good enough basketball to win. And, um, you know, we're playing against a team that's firing on all cylinders. They're very deep and well coached and have some great players on their team. So um, for us to, to accept the challenge tonight and uh, just continue trying to play our game, uh, implement what we do, you know, give ourselves a chance to win is important. What makes, what makes Denver just rolling? What makes them so tough? Uh, I think their depth is the biggest thing. They have a lot of guys who are unselfish. Um, they have a big fellow that, that makes plays for them. They have you know, all their guards are athletic and can, can shoot the ball and really penetrate and make plays. So um, there's nobody you can, you know, help off of in a sense. So uh, we just have to, you know, come prepared, uh, learn their tendencies and um, try to defend them as best as possible and take advantage of the offensive end and in places that we can take advantage of.